Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping will meet in Chennai on October 11th and 12th for the second informal summit after the two leaders met in Wuhan for a similar exchange. Both the leaders are expected to visit three of the Mahabalipura monuments, the Shou Temple, Arjuna's Penance and the Five Rats during their two-day visit. The meet comes in the backdrop of heightened tensions between India and China's all-weather ally Pakistan on the issue of Jammu and Kashmir. TikTok star and BJP candidate in Haryana, Sonali Phogat, asked the crowd at a rally if they were Pakistanis when some of them didn't say Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Phogat, who's taking on Congress's Kuldeep Bishnoi in Adampur, told the gathering that their votes have no value if they can't say Bharat Mata Ki Jai. Bharat Mata Ki With 12 days to go for polls in Maharashtra and Haryana, former minister and senior Congress leader Salman Khurshid has said that the party is going through an existential crisis and is unlikely to win these polls. In an interview to news agency Associated Press, Khurshid said that Congress didn't get to analyse the 2019 defeat as Rahul Gandhi left in a huff and Sonia Gandhi stepped in as a stopgap arrangement. He added that Rahul's exit left a vacuum, but he still retains the allegiance of the party. <laughs> हमें छोड़ गए और उसका तात्पर्य यह है कि वो हमारे अध्यक्ष थे हम चाहते थे चाहते हैं कि वो अध्यक्ष रहें बहुत लोगों ने उनसे विनती की कि वो अध्यक्ष रहें लेकिन उनका अपना एक मत था उनकी अपनी एक सोच थी कि हम अध्यक्ष नहीं रहेंगे मैंने बार-बार ये कहा है कि वो अध्यक्ष नहीं रहे तब भी वो हमारे पार्टी के प्रमुख नेता हैं और रहेंगे Business paper Mint has reported that the government will soon invite bids to sell its entire stake in Air India. The move comes after an initial attempt to divest a partial stake in the national carrier failed to take off. The plan is to sell 100% stake in the airline. The proposal needs clearance from ministerial panel before it's made public, the report said, quoting an unnamed finance ministry official. Debt-laden Air India has been surviving on a Rs 30,000 crore government bailout and has ceded market share to private airlines such as Indigo and Spice Jet. Protests by farmers across Nasik district in Maharashtra have hit the supply of onions to Mondays, sending prices back to the highest level in two weeks. Onion prices at the benchmark Lasalgaon Mandi, Asia's largest spot onion selling market, jumped 37% on Monday. Arrivals at Lasalgaon also plunged to 137 tons on Monday, the lowest in 2019. This spike may have also neutralized the government's measures to curb onion prices. Retail prices for onions had recently shot up to Rs 80 per kg. Ten people drowned during Durga Idol immersions in Rajasthan's Dholpur on Tuesday. Officials said that a boy jumped into the Parbati River during the immersion and started to drown. The others jumped to save him, but they also drowned. Local divers and state disaster response force were called in to fish out the bodies. The state government has announced a financial assistance of Rs 1 lakh to the families of the deceased. According to Red Sea, e-tailers achieved a record of $3 billion or 19,000 crore rupees in gross merchandise value for six days of the festive sales event they conducted. This surge came despite challenging macro conditions with a significant chunk coming from Tier 2 cities. Mobile phones like previous years are the category leader. While Amazon refused to comment, festive sales are largely becoming a two-player market with Flipkart and Amazon dominating over 90% of the market. The Times of India has reported that the centre is mulling an ambitious plan to create a 1,400-kilometre long and 5-kilometre wide green belt from Gujarat to the Delhi-Haryana border. The project will be on the lines of the Great Green Wall running through the width of Africa to combat climate change and desertification. Officials believe that creating a green belt from Porbandar in Panipat will help restore degraded land through afforestation along the Aravali range that spans across Gujarat, Rajasthan, Haryana and Delhi. The green wall will also act as a barrier for dust coming from the deserts in western India and Pakistan.
On the occasion of Vijay Dashmi, Kangana Ranaut received a beautiful pair of ghungroos from her choreographer Gayatri Raguram. Kangana is taking Bharatnatyam training from the choreographer for her grand retro number in Thelavi. Kangana will be stepping into the shoes of Jay Lalita in the movie.